Hello everyone, back tuning into today's first video, doing 5 day forecast for today's first video. Running very, very late today, sorry about that. Uh, so, won't talk about anything else other than to say that coming up this afternoon on the homepage, or later on this afternoon on the homepage, we'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. I'll probably include the Beijing Climate Centre next 40 days in that. That's going to be delayed, of course, it'll be sort of late uh, this afternoon. Uh, that one will be with you. But starting us off is a 5 day forecast. So, the website's using from 5 day forecast coming from theweatheroutlook.com and weathercentral.de. You can find it to both websites on the links page. There'll be lots of high pressure in control and uh, we'll get on with it right now. So we're going to begin with the latest radar picture from the Weather Outlook. And a lot of dry weather across the country today, barely any rain. I've got some patchy rain across far north and northeast of Scotland and some heavier rain just moving in to the very far uh, outer Hebrides uh, and very far north and northwest of Scotland. But really it's a dry day uh, across most of the country today and not surprising because high pressure is in control uh, ridging in from actually a long way east. The sense is right over in the east of Europe but the ridge that cover is uh, covering most of central Europe into uh, the UK and it's bringing up some warmer air from the south as well. So it's a warmer uh, day today particularly across England and Wales. So for us this afternoon, we're going to keep patchy rain going across northern parts of Scotland. We'll get a bit heavier by evening in the very far uh, north of Scotland. Fairly breezy as well across Scotland. It was windy earlier. Those winds are easing down a little bit, but still quite, uh, quite a breeze blowing up in the north. Uh, Northern Ireland, you're going to have a mainly dry afternoon. A few showers scattered about and quite a bit of cloud, but there will be some sunny spells uh, as well. And then that leaves England and Wales mostly dry uh, with bags of sunshine. It's going to be warm this afternoon. Temperatures up to 21, possibly 22 degrees in the centre of London. That's around uh, 70 to 72 Fahrenheit. Overnight tonight, this next weather system moves in to the north. So it turns cloudier and wetter across the northwest of Scotland. And we see outbreaks of rain probably spreading in across other parts of Scotland from through the course of the night as well. Uh, winds will become quite strong again up in the uh, north, so a fairly wet and windy night really, particularly for northern parts of Scotland. Some patchy rain might get down to Northern Ireland by uh, the morning, but England and Wales will be mainly dry uh, with clear spells. Temperatures in the south probably going down to around 8 or 9 degrees. But up in the north, it's going to be a very mild night with that cloud, wind and rain around, temperatures holding up at around 13 or 14 degrees. Through the course of Thursday, we're going to bring that weather system from Scotland southwards, but it will be as a weakening feature. So we'll start off with cloud and outbreaks of showery rain across Scotland. That rain will move southwards into Northern Ireland and Northern England through the course of the day, but it will become very light and patchy as it does so. Really nothing more than a band of cloud by the time it gets to North Wales and the North Midlands by the evening. Brighter skies and cooler air will be following along behind with a few showers to Scotland, and then that leaves much of central, southern, and southeastern England largely dry with decent sunny spells. It'll be very warm again in the southeast tomorrow. Temperatures could get to around 22 or 23. 23 is 73 Fahrenheit, but behind this front up across Scotland, temperatures there dropping away to just uh, 13 or 14 degrees at best. By Friday, we're under this ridge of high pressure, but it is a cooler air mass. So we'll take that band of cloud down across England and Wales, uh, the rest of England and Wales, overnight, first into Friday. There'll still be quite a bit of cloud around across East Anglia, southern and southeastern England, I think, first thing on Friday morning. But it will break up. Brighter skies following this band of cloud will spread down from the north. So most of us should finish up with uh, bright or sunny spells during the course of Friday Afternoon. You'll notice the cooler feel in the south. Temperatures will be back round average, really, uh, at around 12 to 18 degrees Celsius. And quite a cold night to come on uh, Friday night. Saturday is dominated by high pressure, but we will bring a weather front into far north of Scotland later on. So some cloud and shower rain moving into northern Scotland uh, by evening. Otherwise, lots of dry weather. I think the problem this weekend is probably going to be cloud. Uh, we will have quite a lot of cloud floating around under this ridge, although I expect a few bright or sunny spells as well. But I think the axis will be more on cloud, to be honest, this weekend, which will kind of... Uh, spoil things and with the temperature uh, a little bit on the cool side ranging from around say 11 to uh, 16 degrees celsius on saturday afternoon quite cloudy skies i expect we'll feel uh, a tad chilly if skies clear on saturday night it could get quite cold again uh, we're seeing temperature go down to ground frost levels maybe with some mist and fog patches too 
On Sunday, we're dropping another uh, cold front down across the country, and we have some even colder air following that uh, from the north. England and Wales has quite a lot of cloud around, but mainly dry weather through the course of Sunday. Then we'll have a band of rain moving southwards from Scotland into Northern Ireland and Northern England. Again, it will be a weakening feature as it comes southwards. And following that is actually a push of uh, wings from the Arctic. So by the end of um, Sunday, we may start to see showers turning a little bit wintry over the higher ground of northern Scotland. Temperatures there probably falling away to just uh, six uh, to just uh, sort of eight or nine degrees. But down in the south, I think we still, still see temperatures of around 15 or 16 uh, Celsius down there. Close to average, but with the cloudy skies again, probably feeling a little bit on the cool side. And then into Monday, we've got the ridge of high pressure in from the west. So we again take that cold front southwards overnight, uh, sunny to Monday. It introduces a colder push of air from the north. So Monday could start with a fairly widespread frost. We talk about air frost with this. Uh, even down in towards the south, I think it could be air frost around on Monday morning. Uh, and maybe a few wintry showers for northern eastern parts of Scotland as well. Otherwise, it's a mostly dry day with decent sunny spells. But late on, cloud and outbreaks of rain will head in from off the Atlantic. It'll be a cold day. Temperatures ranging from around 7 to 12 degrees. And that is quite a lot below average for the first day of October. Finally, just having a look at charts and weather outlook. Lots of dry weather coming up today. But as we've already seen, we have got that showy rain up in the north. Tomorrow, well, a warm day in the southeast, but a band of cloud will be moving south. There's no more a band of cloud by the time it gets to northern England, and it introduces cooler air uh, following along behind. That's Friday, a cooler day across the country, uh, mainly dry, though, with sunny spells. And these dry conditions continue into both Saturday and Sunday, or mostly dry conditions continuing into the weekend. The main thing you'll notice is there's quite a lot of cloud around and with a fairly cool feel to the temperatures uh, so it is going to feel rather chilly over the weekend. And then we go through into Monday when we actually turn things a little bit colder so uh, Monday does look like a pretty cold day. Could be a widespread air frost particularly across the northern parts of the country not exclusively so on Monday morning. We'll be morning with sunny spells, though, but uh, those temperatures really will be pegged back uh, and not getting above uh, single digits, actually, across the northern parts of the country. So, in summary, we're going to have a lot of dry weather coming up. High pressure will be in control. It's starting warm in the south at the moment. That's got another day to run for tomorrow. But then from Friday, it turns cooler. And by Monday, actually, it could be quite cold, particularly so up in the north. Again, the emphasis is on mainly dry conditions. Some rain, though, at times uh, for Scotland. Right, come back this afternoon when we'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.